Hi, I'm Dr. Cher and I'm going to talk today about habits and what it takes to create sustainable habits. Two points I want to make around this because you know, as you probably know, I mean, I work with people with weight loss, they get great results, they keep the weight off. And it really, it does come down to just creating sustainable habits. And yes, I have a method that I use, it's very effective and there's all that stuff, but it really is just showing up, doing what you gotta do each day and keeping it moving. The sooner they become habits, the easier it is, as opposed to having to reinvent the wheel every day and think about, oh, what I got to do, do today and my food and my this, and making a thousand decisions. That's the benefit of a habit, right? You're using a different part of your brain. It's kind of like being on autopilot. But that doesn't happen overnight. It takes time to get there. In fact, there was a, a study that was done, and I'm just looking at my little note here to refresh my memory. Yes, out of University of London. And apparently now they're saying the research around really creating these habits so that you know, then they can measure the brain activity so they know when when you're doing something, whether it's coming from the prefrontal cortex, which means you're having to think more, versus the, the more primitive part of the brain, the hindbrain. And the basic now the research is showing it's 66 days. Remember, it used to be 21 days. 21 days to create a new habit. Well, now it, they're saying it's 66 days. That's a long time. It's almost two months of doing the same thing, two months and a few days. Okay, I'm grateful to hear that this is it because my actual program, my signature program is 10 weeks. There we go, 70 days. It's like, whew, okay, we just threw that 66 day thing. But 66 days to keep doing the same things until it really becomes hardwired in your brain. So if you're, anything you're doing really, whether it's trying to change your eating habits, whether it's exercise, whether it's doing daily meditation, whether you're just trying to create some healthy habits, you're only giving it a go for a few weeks or it's, 20 days or even a month, you're like, oh, why did I stop? Well, you didn't do it long enough. So 66 days, apparently that is the, the number. And um, so keep that in mind. The other thing that really helps with creating habits because um, is having support, right? So obviously I support my clients from a coaching standpoint, but just in anything, having people that are supporting you, maybe keeping you accountable, really makes a difference. We are, as much as we can be independent, we are a herd animal. And even when we're under stress, I mean, they talk about fight or flight or freeze. Well, the other thing is to connect. I remember speaking to a psychologist, this a few years ago, They're, they ran an amazing program down in California. And she was talking about the power of connection, right? It's so powerful. I think now we maybe all can appreciate that more having gone through this lockdown and being so isolated but connection is really a powerful thing so when you have somebody who's gonna show you show up with you keep you accountable um, at the end of the day you got to do it but just that little bit of support so I'm doing this so for example I I do like running and I, I kind of have phases where I'm into it and then I'm not and it just amazes me when you get out of a habit like that how difficult it is to get back into it. Um, and just because I'm in the field doesn't mean I'm anything special. I still struggle with these things too. Um, and um, yeah, I've been wanting to get back into it, wanting to get back into it. Anyways, and uh, just delaying and I don't know. I used to do the running room thing, so I'd show up with a group, right? And that was great, it was fun. I loved it, I always felt great. And yet when it came to doing it myself, eh, it was still a little hit and miss once I got out of the habit. Anyways, you know, just last week, I guess, or sorry, um, no, it was about a month ago, sorry. Um, I had, uh, we had our neighbors over, we we're chatting and, and my neighbor, you know, we got talking about running and she used to run. We used to run together in one of the groups in the running room from a few years ago. And so we said, let's start. So we started, we've been doing it a month now, three mornings a week. Um, and you know, haven't missed a day yet. So pretty thrilled with that and it's kind of effortless and I can see now so okay I gotta hit my 66 days though right so then I keep going on my own I mean it is more fun so definitely if you know you're looking to change some habits and you know maybe somebody else who's in the same boat you know give them a call team up see if there's a way that you can kind of somehow hold each other um, accountable in a supportive way it makes it more fun 
uh, the likelihood of you following through is much higher. And just, you know, aim for that 66 day mark and then hopefully it's hardwired and you're good to go. Anyways, that's it for me for talking about habits. Uh, maybe it's not the most exciting thing, but it's all these little habits and all those little details that really make the difference in us creating bigger changes, bigger transformation. In my case, what I see with people in terms of losing weight, but no matter what it is in, in your life, um, you know, set a goal for that, hitting that, do it long enough and get some support and, um, and have fun in creating your new habits. Take care.